Now, it's the reason why only 1% to 5% really makes substantial money in cryptocurrency. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'm back with another one. We got 28 days until the next Bitcoin Alvin cycle. And I want to answer the question that many has been asking. And is that, are we in a bull run, right? Are we near altcoin season? You can see that today we are getting a uh, good rebound from cryptocurrency after the uh, M FOMC meeting. Um, came out pretty in my opinion pretty dovish and and, and i'm gonna say this right this is probably the most important part of the video when i say pretty dovish and we go here um you can see the fed expects three interest rate cuts in 2024 that's the expectations right three rate cuts right three rate cuts right so it's 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 <laughs> I mean, you can be bullish right now just based off the Fed statement, right? Three rate cuts expected in 2024. Fed is lowering unemployment rate expect expectations to 4%. So now they're lowering the un unemployment rate, right? So it doesn't, it's not to that point where people have to lose their jobs for the market to send, right? Shit, we feel so bad when we hear that. And uh, of course, the same target of, of the inflation, which is 2%. And currently, I believe we're around 2.8%. So in my opinion, this is probably the most bullish news that we got because we won't get another opportunity to buy crypto at these prices. And I'm, I'm going to go into it. I'm, I'm going to go into why this is the last opportunity for generational wealth and why a lot of people is, are going to miss out with this op opportunity being either extra emotional, gambling away their money, most importantly, not having patience or uh, having that bear market post-traumatic stress where you're at the point where you're like, uh, is this the end? Is this the top? Is this really the bull run? All right. So um, first and foremost, I want to focus on the ETH pair right here. You can see uh, ETH, right? Uh, Big Daddy coin of the ERC20 tokens um, is bullish on the Gossip channel, right? You can say, hey, well, the stock RSI is overbought. Fine, right? But we know there's been times where we you know, may have dipped under you know, called ourselves and then pushed back up. So I'm not too much worried about the, the, the stock RSI here. What I'm focusing on is the Gossin channel being green, right? So in my opinion, that's pretty bullish. Another thing people don't look at is Coinbase, right? So you can see here the Coinbase app um, ranking has, has skyrocketed, right? So this is a uh, uh, foreshadowing a lot of retail get into crypto, which is crazy uh, that uh, just yesterday, right? Coin, Coinbase app store ranking dropped from 198 to 500 after a 12 hour bear market. So people were just literally like getting scared. Like, oh my God, this is just the top. They do it every time. But us guys, us, we got to look at those as opportunities because why? We know that we're already in the bull run. We know that, hey, you know, the, we're, we're not going to run into these opportunities, right? Because the trend is your friend to the end, right? The interest in crypto is up. Up, right? And then co-assign with this dip here that we see what everybody did. But the interest is up. And another bullish thing is that the Coinbase stock has been ripping. So, you know, I remember when Coinbase was in the 60s and the 70s, right? It seemed like it was just yesterday. It, it's it's kind of like unbelievable that coinbase is sitting up here at uh 270 and you know uh, this is why you don't want to be kind of nearsighted i think crypto and this is this is my opinion for me it kind of makes you like tunnel vision and you miss out on other opportunities right this this was probably a a major opportunity even uh my boy nifty invest saying coinbase has been the easiest trade of the decade Literally easiest trade in a decade. Sometimes we get so wrapped up into crypto, right? And while wow, Coinbase is actually bullish here on the daily, looking to go up even even higher, that we miss out on other opportunities. And I'm pretty sure that that's the same can be same said the same about when you're holding specific tokens uh, or or specific narratives, right? Don't want to you know kind of like focus on any specific token. But again, this would have been a beautiful opportunity, right? You know, the Lord load up my Coinbase. Let me know in the, in the, in the comments if, you, if you've been uh, investing into Coinbase and actually been um, literally uh, uh, killing that trade, man. I would love to know everybody's opinion on the Coinbase trade, right? Um, also, uh, with the, the UST, we get we are getting a, in that little pocket that we have, right? That little pocket that we want to see um, from the Tether dominance. Um, and in my opinion, if we come down... You know, sub 3%, 2% when now we're talking about BTC and all coins literally being in that that parabolic stage of the bull run. But it is, you know, you can see Gossin Channel Red here um, 
on the Twitter dominance, and this thing is just falling off the map, right? People are just unloading their uh, stable coins here into the crypto market. Another signal that we're in a bull run. Another signal, guys, that we're in a bull run. I can't make this up. I'm taking a look at the Ether uh, BTC uh, pair right here. Now, this is the this is the one that's telling us that. This is the one that's telling us we still got time left, right? This is the one chart where you look at it like, okay, this ain't bullish yet. But I'm telling you, if the ETH BTC pair shoots above the gossip channel on the weekly, that means we're up out of here. We're up out of there, right? So you still got a chance. You still this is the this is the last this is the last hope for the bears, right? To to continue to Keep the ETH BTC pair in this downtrend, right? Technically, you could say that it technically may have already broken the, the downtrend. Here, oh, I can't even draw my thing. I would have to reload my chart, and I don't want to reload it right now. But you could kind of say that that's starting the trend right there. So, mm, mm, mm. this is the last. This is the last ray of hope for bears, right? It's the fact that the ETH BTC pair has not turned green on the Gossip Channel. So I would say this is the last hope. For beers, in my opinion, and again, um, I like to look at the BTC chart from the six month chart, and you can you can clearly see we're in we're in a raging bull run. I've right? been in a bull run since January 2023, raging. Okay, this is raging. All right, we've already broke the highs, right? Broke the wick candle highs, right? So, raging bull market. People can say what they want to say. We got one more green six month candle. And we also got to close this six month candle as well. So we still have time, but th th you don't have much time for this generational opportunity. And you see it across the market, man. People are diving into these meme coins, becoming millionaires overnight. And of, 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 of course, I'm never that fortunate for a Solana meme coin. But hey, maybe one day, <laughs> one day I could pick that right Solana meme coin. I'm pretty sure many of can agree in the comments here. But yeah, this is another sign that we are in. In my opinion, a raging bull uh, bull run, but we're not yet in altcoin season as we have not yet seen that Bitcoin dominance kind of like trend down. But we are at the trend line. We are at the trend line, guys. This is this is this is it. This is it. If you ain't buying crypto right here, right now, you're gonna miss the boat. And I, I hate to say that. I hate to be that guy, and I'm not trying to predict anything, but I'm just saying. If you ain't, if you don't have your bag set up, or at least been buying, trying to get in right now, while you have the chance, while we had this this pullback, I don't even know how we have another pullback after the Fed came out and said they still expected three rate cuts this year. We're in 2024, and we're in March. So let the this is it. This is a warning. This is a warning that you may miss the crypto bull run. You may miss the crypto bull run right and another indication that we're not in altcoin season yet but we're this this is where you want to buy your altcoins you don't want to buy them up here you want to buy them down here so i'm not making a video to specific focus on any altcoins your narrative your bag however you do it is however you do it but guys we're real close man and i, I just wanted to put that out there uh let me know what you think about this man um how much time do we have left? Is there any time left? Are we already here? I would love to know everybody's opinion in the comments. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside algorithms. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.